a failure so far to hold a formal news conference. He's going to have to hold a news conference at some point, isn't he? Uh, absolutely. The pressure is mounting when you have even left wing outlets calling him out for this. But I would say it's extraordinary that he hasn't taken questions. Certainly 100 year record for not taking questions in a solo press conference from a sitting president. Uh, president. But this is not unprecedented because as you'll recall, Stuart, the basement strategy is what he employed on the campaign trail. He went something like 50 days and he only took questions twice. And when he did, they were handpicked questions. Yeah. Um, so I, I think his yeah. staff does not have faith that he can stand at the podium and have a press conference the way President Trump did many times. They're protecting him. It seems to me they are protecting the president from himself. They don't want to see him stumble over words, get confused, lose his train of thought, as he may well do if he was subject to the rough and tumble of a real press conference. They're protecting him, I think. I think that's exactly right. I think you hit the nail on the head when you mentioned his staff, because as you saw uh, President Biden say right there, he said, I'm happy to take questions if that's what I'm supposed to do. I've seen him joust back and forth in one interaction with Peter Ducey, and he seemed to kind of relish the moment a little. So I don't think this is President Biden saying, I don't want to do this. I think it's those around him recognizing when he does speak, it doesn't always turn out so well, like calling Republicans on Neanderthals, as he did recently in the Oval Office.